Greetings everyone. Welcome to another educational video from the studios of Bomani Technology. Today we are here to share with you another presentation on the philosophies and vision of the great Pan-African legend and organizer Marcus Garvey. Please comment, like, share and subscribe for more videos from Bomani Tiahimba. Let's get started with our topic. Marcus Garvey's letter from the Atlanta Penitentiary, February 10, 1925, is an exceptional vision for nation building. These are excerpts from the actual letter written by Marcus Garvey while in the Atlanta Penitentiary, February 10, 1925. This reference comes from the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey, compiled by Amy Jacques Garvey from page 237 to 239. Fellow men of the Negro race greetings. I am delighted to inform you that your humble servant is as happy in suffering for you and our cause as is possible under the circumstances. I have been viciously outraged by a group of plotters who have connived to do their worst to humiliate you through me. But I fight for real emancipation, an African redemption. I do not want to write anything at this time that would make it difficult for you to meet the opposition of your enemy without my assistance. Suffice to say that the history of this outrage shall form a splendid chapter in the history of Africa redeemed. A time when the black man will no longer be under the heels of others, but have a civilization and culture of their own. The whole affair is a disgrace, and the whole black world knows it. We shall not forget. Our day may be fifty, a hundred or two hundred years ahead, but let us watch, work and pray. For the civilization of injustice is bound to crumble and bring destruction down upon the heads of the unjust. My work is just begun, and when the history of my suffering is complete, then the future generations of the Negro will have in their hands the guide by which they shall know the sins of the twentieth century. I, and I know you too, believe in time, and we shall wait patiently for two hundred years if need be, to face our enemies through our prosperity. All I have, I have given you. I have sacrificed my home and my loving wife for you. I entrust her to your charge, to protect and defend her in my absence. She is the bravest little woman I know. She has suffered and sacrificed with me for you. Therefore, please do not desert her at this dismal hour when she stands alone. I left her penniless and helpless to face the world because I gave you all. But her courage is great and I know she will hold up for you and me. After my enemies are satisfied in life or death, I shall come back to you to serve even as I have served before. In life, I shall be the same. In death, I shall be a terror to the foes of Negro liberty. If death has power, then count on me in death to be the real Marcus Garvey I would like to be. If I may come in an earthquake or a cyclone or a plague or pestilence, or as God would have me, then be assured that I would never desert you and make your enemies triumph over you. Would I not go to hell a million times for you? Would I not, like Macbeth's ghost, walk the earth forever for you? Would I not lose the whole world and eternity for you? Would I not cry forever before the footstool of the Lord Omnipotent for you? Would I not die a million deaths for you? Then why be sad? Cheer up and be assured that if it takes a million years, the sins of our enemies shall visit the millionth generation of those that hinder and oppress us. If I die in Atlanta, my work shall then only begin, but I shall live, in the physical or spiritual to see the day of Africa's glory. When I am dead, wrap the mantle of the red, black and green around me, for in the new life I shall rise with God's grace and blessing to lead the millions up the heights of triumph with the colors that you well know. Look for me in the whirlwind or the storm. Look for me all around you, for with God's grace I shall come and bring with me countless millions of black slaves who have died in America and the West Indies and the millions in Africa to aid you in the fight for liberty, freedom, and life. The civilization of today has gone drunk and crazy with its power, and by such it seeks through injustice, fraud, and lies to crush the unfortunate. But if I am apparently crushed by the system of influence and misdirected power, my cause shall rise again to plague the conscience of the corrupt. For this again I am satisfied, and for you I repeat, I am glad to suffer and even die. Again I say cheer up, for better days are ahead. I shall write the history that will inspire the millions that are coming and leave the posterity of our enemies to reckon with the host for the deeds of their fathers. With God's dearest blessings, I leave you for a while. These are excerpts from the actual letter written by Marcus Garvey while in the Atlanta Penitentiary, February 10, 1925. 
This reference comes from the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey, compiled by Amy Jacques Garvey from page 237 to 239. Thanks for joining another presentation on the philosophies and vision of Marcus Garvey, the great Pan-African legend and organizer. Please comment, like, share and subscribe for more videos from Bomani Taihimba. Join Bomani on the upcoming Africa tours to Liberia, Egypt, Tanzania, Senegal, the Gambia, Ghana and South Africa. Visit his website for more details on Africa tours and investments at www.africa4theafricans.org. The journey continues.